Welcome back from that break. If you just joining, this is still Good Morning Abuja on the Unity Station NTA Channel 5 Abuja. Next on the program, I have with me someone interesting that you would like to meet. He is a product manager and together I'll be talking about product marketing. I have with me Uluwa Tobi on Motor Show. Hope I didn't spoil that name. <laughs> no, yeah, you I didn't. got to go nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank, thank you. Like thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Okay, so welcome yeah. to Good Morning Abuja. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I'm glad to be here. Okay, so we're going to be talking about um, product marketing. Marketing, yes. So I'd like you to tell us what um, product marketing is all about. Okay, so product marketing is basically the process of taking a product to the market. Everything that involves taking a product to market. It can be a hardware product or a software okay. product. Yeah, yeah. so um, the messaging, you know, the positioning, um, identifying like okay what the target audience for that product okay. right all of all of this is involved mm. in um product marketing okay so like how long have you been in um or should i say how long have you been a project manager uh um, you've been marketing a product more than four years now oh uh, mm. like okay so so far you've had um experiences, experiences working but yes and then something that is actually making you better in it. yes so so far i'm sure you've had um successful outings and yeah. so how were you able to pull that through to have a, um, a successful um product marketing okay well so um for me as a product manager um i would have to collaborate a lot of times with product marketers or you know the marketing team mm. so um because i work on software products right okay. so i've had um the opportunity to work on software products in you know edutech and currently in, in the fintech space mm. and what happens is we work with the marketing team mm. right to basically identify um what is the value that the product needs to drive so okay. for every successful um, product marketing campaign mm. right we need to work with the uh, marketing team, right? First of all, we need to understand who are the customers. Yeah, yeah. The customers are the people that will pay money yeah, for that I was product. Actually going to <laughs> yeah. ask, like, what, your target mm -hmm. audience and all that. How yeah. do you determine? So I think this is still yes, okay. yeah. So so you need to identify that. We can uh, you know expand on that, um, and then you need to identify the value, mm -hmm. right? Because um, people won't buy your product because you know it's nice or you tell them to come and buy it. They need to buy something that solves a problem yeah. and delivers some sort of value. Mm -hmm. So for every successful product marketing um, campaign that I have been able to work on, mm. um, these are some of like the foundational things to do um, to really drive the success. Okay, so um, like you have to do, are you the one that also does the customer research? Like, I think this actually plays a whole lot. Like mm -hmm. um, maybe when you get a product and then you can actually give the advice that maybe what the owners of the product have in mind is different from from what you also have in mind. So I think, how do you actually merge this together? Okay, so wh what you're saying is how do we understand, the, yes. you know, what the customers, customers yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, so I, I think it's a very, you know, very first thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you think about the essence of products in themselves, right, they're supposed to serve a customer's need, mm -hmm. right? So for example, um, say, um, you know, you have a business, right or small businesses mm. some of the challenges that small businesses have okay. for example is making payments right okay. um, so if you want to build a product that helps to solve the problem of making payments mm. for small businesses you need to identify okay i want to build this product for small businesses where can i find them right uh, am i thinking of businesses um you know on social media or you know a certain type of industry mm. Right. So there needs to be that initial work in identifying who are we building this pro I mean, this product okay. for okay. what is the problem we're solving, you know, for them? Um, what is the value um, that they are going to get okay. from it? And how much would they be willing to pay? That one too is, a, is an impo mm -hmm. important question to, okay. yes, to so find. So while working, how do you um, work on negative criticism? Because I'm sure, you know, you can <laughs> actually not please everybody. So yeah. how do you work on and how do you um, tackle that? Yeah, so that that's also an important one. So for for negative criticism, well, um, it's it's always good to understand the root cause, right? So you want to be generally interested enough in what what are the challenges your customers are facing. From my experience, um, sometimes your customers are facing um, issues, right, with the product that you um, that they I mean your product, 
and maybe it's a simple issue but you know sometimes we as customers we just uh, you know it make it look like a big issue right mm -hmm. so you want to genuinely understand you know be interested mm -hmm. right in okay w you know what is the problem right mm -hmm. find the root cause and find ways to sort of improve going on so having that system in place for continuous improvement right um being open to feedback well, and was, yeah to yeah that, exactly i think for you to have this kind of thing you have to have a channel of feedback right? exactly you need to have a, yeah so you need to have a customer support structure basically oh, okay. um to continuously take feedback and channel the you know all of the feedback um you know into improvements continuously for the product okay so and ensure that they are you know satisfied yeah, basically that, it's not just, yeah. um, because at the end of the day it might be like eh, she be it's just um it's not actually me <laughs> but at the end of the day you are actually involved because you are the one selling this out and then exactly it, it might even be you they are seeing there like yeah. they are the one they are going to attack if at all there's anything like that like exactly you, exactly you are the one telling us it's like this and we're not getting what we want yeah and all that okay so where do we see product marketing in like the next five years because i think this is actually um it's not so it's like new mm -hmm. it's not so old so far and it's been doing well, well so far so <laughs> in the next five ten years where do we see product marketing okay well i mean i wouldn't say it's uh, relatively new like that but it, it's mm, relative okay. anyways mm, like people it, are still it, getting to know and and know yeah. about it and actually get to use it well actually new businesses yes exactly mm. i think that for every business it is it is very important right so in terms of in in the next five years i think there's going to be a lot of improvements um you know we're seeing things a lot of uh things coming up in the artificial intelligence space mm -hmm. um, but one thing i think is going to remain constant it is the fact that you want to basically promote you know the value that a product is driving mm. that's going to remain constant okay. right mm. um at the core of what product marketing does is mm. that you have customers people that um have a problem and you have a product that solves that problem mm. and you want to communicate that you want to scale that process mm. right how you now get there you know for example now you can run for example um you know search engine um campaigns right or you know organic means de depending on what your product is mm. so but the core of what product mar marketing is would would remain but the the tools the avenues the channels to do that would continue to expand um as we have different technological advances over time say, like for for someone coming new into business like yeah actually small business they always feel getting a product manager is like on the expensive side okay and maybe they are not ready for that yet they can mm -hmm. just try and do their manual thing and mm -hmm. see how it goes mm -hmm. well i don't know should, should we say okay getting a project man no matter how small your business is actually going to boost your business is it okay you mean product manager right yeah a project like getting a project manager for a for a business i just about to start a share small businesses is it advising because i feel mm, yeah. it's going to enter the pocket more <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i mean for for small businesses it might not be you yes, know as right. yes as important oh, serious? yes oh. it depends and it depends on what kind of business it is okay. so not all businesses require you to have a project, project manager, manager or product manager of course um i think most businesses require you to do some form of marketing so you might you might want to have maybe like a digital marketer or you know somebody that will push ads for you mm -hmm. on social media and things like that mm -hmm. so at a small scale you can do things you know maybe just work with social media a lot of businesses right now mm -hmm. leverage social media instagram you know yeah, facebook okay. to run their campaigns right mm -hmm. but in terms of project manager um it's in the place where you have like a project mm. that you want to run from start to finish mm. right mm. um and you need someone to sort of manage that at scale mm. right then you can you know start looking at having persons to yeah, do that for oh, you nice okay we've learned a lot for me like um you didn't really sit i'm sure it's something you didn't actually go to say okay this is my cv i want to work with you or something like encouraging young ones not to yeah. just sit back and exactly. wait for the job you, you, I think you you can get things going not just waiting for exactly and exactly so i want you now to advise young people watching you at home like okay you can be actually a model to someone yes a, 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 a role model yeah and all that so i want you to actually speak to someone out there that is watching and encourage someone out there right okay so um yeah and thank you very much for the you know opportunity to be here i think one thing i would say is um 
these days there are there are careers that are high value careers mm. that you can sort of go into um of course the um entering into those fields for example into the technology fields might not be as easy right mm. um but you know you just want to identify where your interest lies mm. right so identify something where your interest lies mm -hmm. right um there's a lot of resources and information online there's a you know there's there's tons of information in fact we're in the age of information overload right but you, you want to identify a particular area of interest mm. um, and once you've identified that you want to just you know take small steps right mm. start learning something like you said you don't have to because these days it's not by um it's, it's not by you know what school did you go to what did you graduate mm -hmm. with is what have you done right and mm. um, what can you do Right. So you want to invest in, you know, building skills, skills that are highly marketable and very valuable. Mm. Right. Um, especially because we're in a digital age. So digital skills. Right. And it could be something as simple as digital marketing. I know, you know, a young um, um, lady, just 16, yeah. that, you know, started learning how to advertise on social media. And, you know, from there, she got a job paying 50K, had like more multiple jobs, like four different jobs, you know. And, you know, what she was doing was writing content and, you know, advertising on social media. So, right, you want to start small, right? Find what can I learn now and start to practice, right? And, you know, um, put yourself, you know, out there and just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they can only reach you if you actually know what you're doing. Yes, you know, yeah. So put yourself out there. You know, uh, communities like LinkedIn, for example, where you have a lot of professionals, different mm -hmm. people, um, can help to drive inspiration. When you go to LinkedIn, you see a lot of young people doing amazing things. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it can be a source of inspiration. Okay. I think I want to go this path mm -hmm. or I think I want to go that path. And mm -hmm. before you know it. Thank you. So thank you for coming on. Good morning, Abuja. Like thank you very much for having me. a lot so far. And I believe there's more to learn, but there's something um that is really catchy like being so young uh, doing well for yourself and i'm sure like now there's nothing you would say you're waiting for someone to come and give to you you are there finding it for yourself and i'm sure people at home watching have actually seen that yes this is if you can do it i can also do it right. so thank you for coming thank and tell us much. the whole lot about product marketing how important it is and why people should actually key into right. this um Product marketing. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you very I've much for having me. With Onuwa Tobi on Motor Show, and he has told us a whole lot about product marketing. We'll go for a short break, and after that, the program continues.